Samsung DeX is a way of turning your Samsung phone into a PC. The traditional way of using it is to plug in a USB-C to HDMI cable from your phone to a monitor. While you can use your phone as the mouse and keyboard for DeX, to get the best experience, it's better to pair a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. Now, starting with the Note 10, Samsung has added another way of using DeX. By installing an application, you can plug your phone onto a PC and use DeX as if it was a Windows or OS X app. With that said, let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to find out is if your phone is compatible with this. You will need either a Galaxy Note 10 phone or a Galaxy S10 with Android 10. So if you have any of these, let's begin. I'll now download the DeX application by navigating to samsung.com slash DeX. Click on the download for your OS. I'm going to select Windows. After it downloads, run the installation for your OS. Now I have the app installed on my Windows computer. It runs in the background, so it's always monitoring if your phone is plugged into the computer or not. When the phone is plugged in, the DeX app will initiate. So I'll take a USB-C cable and plug it into my phone and then take the other end of the cable to plug into my PC. After plugging in the phone, the Samsung DeX app will soon boot up. It's loading. And now it's loaded. Now I can use DeX just like it's plugged into a monitor. Right now, my phone is currently locked. So that means DeX is also locked. Clicking or dragging the screen on DeX won't unlock it. You will have to go to your phone and either enter your PIN or use your fingerprint to unlock it. Go ahead and do that. I unlocked the phone and the DeX desktop is now fading in. You probably noticed that DeX is in a window and not full screen. This just shows you that DeX acts just like other Windows apps. I can drag it around and I could also put it to full screen. To leave full screen mode, I'll move my mouse to the top of the screen. There will be a menu that comes down. I'll just select the restore icon. I'm out of full screen mode. Now let's go through the options that Dex has. To the top right of the screen, there is a gear icon that will take you to the settings. I'm going to click on that. Here in the settings, the first option is to have Dex auto start when you plug in your phone. Next is a useful option. When you have DeX minimized and working on another application, the DeX icon will flash when you get a text message or other notification. Everything else in the settings is just licensing information and also a way to manually update the DeX application. Okay, so I'm going to hit the back arrow at the top left of the screen to get back to the DeX desktop. I'm going to leave the DeX application as a window so you can see the Windows 10 desktop in the background. So let's quickly go through the most useful features of having DeX on your computer. Messaging is really awesome. This is because you can just use a real keyboard to type instead of picking up your phone and using its touch keyboard. I can also open different messaging apps and have them ready to use when I need to create or respond to messages. Performance on DeX is not as good as having your phone connected directly to a display over HDMI, but it still works really well. Dragging Windows around is not as responsive as a direct HDMI connection, but it certainly does not ruin the experience. Moving on, I can also answer phone calls without picking up my phone. Here, I have an incoming call. I'll use the mouse to answer the call. When in a phone call, you will be able to hear the other person's voice over the PC, but your voice will be picked up through the phone's microphone or any headset that's paired to it. I'll hang up just like I would on Android. So next, let's have some fun and try it out a game and see if there's any considerable lag. And my favorite test for gaming is to use an old school game. This is because they are a lot less forgiving with your reflexes, so you can quickly notice any major lag. I'll open up Sonic CD. The game is loading. Sega. It isn't full screen, but I'll change that later. Sonic. 
So far in the menu, I don't really notice any lag. I'll start a game and see how it goes. Yeah, there is a major lag going on when I press the button. Put the game in full screen to have a bigger presentation. The input lag is way too high to make this game enjoyable. So you shouldn't play any games that require quick reactions when you're using Vex over a PC. Just use an HDMI cable if you want to play those types of games. Let's exit out of the game. If you have any projects on Android that you want to work on, you can do it here with more screen space than what you would have on your phone. I'm opening up a music creation app here to show you that you can work on content creation applications. If you need to do some productivity, that is also possible. Just bring up Android's Microsoft Word application and go ahead and do some word processing. And if you need to do some number crunching, just open up Excel to help you with that. This is very useful if you are using another computer that does not have Microsoft Office installed. But if you really need access to your main computer, then just set it up for remote access and you can log into it. Last thing I wanted to try was Linux on Dex. However, I tried to open it up, but it doesn't work. And unfortunately, Samsung has actually confirmed and said they will no longer continue developing Linux on Dex beyond its current beta status. This really disappointed me because Linux on Dex was a feature I really liked and found useful. Anyway, to exit Dex, just click on the X on the top right of the screen. So that's Dex on Windows. You might be thinking to yourself, why would I want this? Well, as shown before, when you're home or at work, you can use Dex for messaging, taking phone calls, and use other Android-specific apps. And like I also showed before, you can use productivity apps like Microsoft Office on computers that do not have it installed. Another reason is that a USB-C charging cable is much more common than a USB-C to HDMI cable. So this can be a backup method to get access to DeX on a new computer, especially if you need VPN into a network and your VPN setup is on your phone. Finally, you can turn an old Windows 7 laptop into a DeX machine. Depending on the computer, you can actually get a faster experience using DeX than Windows. So that's a quick look at using Samsung DeX on a PC, which gives you immediate access to your phone without even picking it up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet done so, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.